Cedar Point adds something new to their already amazing ride collection almost every year. Within their 71 rides, 17 of those being roller coasters, what else could they possibly be missing at this massive amusement park? What could they possibly have planned? Today, I will discuss my thoughts on what my home park, Cedar Point, will be receiving over the next five years. First, let's take a look back at the past five years. This background information will help us predict the future. In 2015, the park transformed the beloved B&M stand-up coaster, Mantis, into the floorless coaster known as Rougarou. In 2016, they received a B&M dive coaster, Valraven. 2017 brought the renovation of Soak City, now named Cedar Point Shores. They got a new water slide structure with drop door slides and overall improved the park. In 2018, the park opened Steel Vengeance, a record-breaking RMC hybrid, and they removed Dinosaurs Alive to prepare for 2019's edition, Forbidden Frontier on Adventure Island, a walk-around experience with live actors and fun games. And finally, 2020 brought new restaurants and overall park upgrades like the Legacy Walk. Before I reveal the plan, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, you should consider subscribing to my channel and drop a like on this video. It would help out a ton, and you can always change your mind later. Now, let's get into the video. Cedar Point's additions for 2021 are already confirmed. A boat ride called Snake River Expedition and the Celebrate 150 Spectacular. These plans were originally for 2020, but were postponed to 2021 because of COVID-19. Snake River Expedition will be an interactive river boat ride with actors that goes around Forbidden Frontier. Riders in wheelchairs and service animals can ride, which I think is really awesome that it's inclusive. The Celebrate 150 Spectacular Parade will be a big celebration to end off an outstanding day at America's Rock and Roller Coast. It'll have large floats with music, dancing, and hundreds of talented performers. I've always thought a parade would be amazing for Cedar Point, and I love the idea of Snake River Expedition, so I think both will be great additions for the park. Now for 2020, I could see Cedar Point expanding their water park. Cedar Point Shores got expanded last in 2017. It might be time for a minor update. Although a water coaster slide would be nice, I personally see smaller fixes like new dining options, more shade, etc. And at the end of the summer, I think Snake River Falls will permanently close and Thunder Canyon will temporarily close. I think it'll temporarily close so in 2023, it can be renovated like Knott's Berry Farms River Rapids ride. Calico River Rapids at Knott's went through a major renovation in 2019, giving the ride a better experience and better theming. I could see Thunder Canyon going through a similar refurbishment. Caves, buildings, cool animatronics, animals, and water jets were added to Calico River Rapids, and I think Thunder Canyon would highly benefit from these upgrades. Although Thunder Canyon is already extremely fun, it has no theme as of now. So if Cedar Point renovated Thunder Canyon, it would take this Rapids ride to the next level. Uh, 2024. Remember how I mentioned Snake River Falls closing in 2020? That is to clear the way for 2024, what I think will be Cedar Point's next huge year. That's right, it's time for a new coaster. Or two. For 2024, I think Cedar Point will add the massive dueling GCI concept shown at IAPA 2018. This model shows big wooden roller coasters with inversions. Cedar Point has nothing like the dueling GCI concept and is due for a modern wooden roller coaster. The only Woody out of their 17 coasters is 1964's Blue Streak. This coaster would follow up Steel Vengeance with a six year gap. That is a huge time frame for the rate Cedar Point is expanding. This coaster would be in the land that Snake River Falls and the remaining land from Shoot the Rapids took up. If that isn't enough land for two coasters, I could also see them just building only one track of the dueling concept. So they would still add a huge wooden coaster, it just wouldn't have the dueling side. And I predict this year we'll also see the removal of Wicked Twister. And good riddance, because I hate that ride, about time it bites the dust. And finally, 2025. Coming off a huge year, it would be time to settle down and get something small. At this point, it will have been 11 years since the last family ride package. So for this season, in place of Wicked Twister, I think a new family ride package will come. This is a little harder to predict, so I'm going off what I would want to see. I think a Zamperla Water Mania would be awesome. If you don't know what a Water Mania is, it is a water ride that has boats in the shape of circles with water canyons to shoot water at the other circular boats. The boats spin in circles similar to teacups, and there's multiple different platforms of the spinning boats, 
So it's like three teacups built in one, but you shoot water at the other boats. I think this ride looks so fun and would be a great addition. I would want to ride it like every time I go, just look at it. In that area, they could fit a few more rides, probably more Zamperla family rides. So here's the recap of my five year plan. A confirmed boat ride and parade for 2021 called Snake River Expedition and the Celebrate 150 Spectacular. 2022 will bring a minor Cedar Point Shores expansion. Thunder Canyon will go through a similar refurbishment to Calico River Rapids at Knott's Berry Farm in 2023. The next big coaster, the dueling GCI concept or a single track version of it will come in 2024. And for 2025, a family ride expansion to replace Wicked Twister. Remember, all of this is speculation and there's no way that this will end up being correct. Five year plans are very unpredictable because no one knows what the industry will look like in five years. Tell me what you think about my five year plan in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Also, I wanna give a special thanks to Christian from Theme Park Horizons for helping me make the five year plan. Go check out his channel, it's great. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm Callie the Coaster Enthusiast and I'll see you guys next time.